Yes? Um, so, you, you've been appearing to me in dreams since I was three. Um, since you were three? Yeah. Okay, I, that means that this is not about any personal thing or advertising. We are not doing a, a advertising program. That means Guru Nanak must be appearing, appearing to millions and millions of people when they were three because uh, one of the ladies, owner of the Oberoi International, she also said that when she was a child of five, she accidentally fell into a, a pit where there were white, where there were tears and rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. And I stretched my hand and I saved her. Okay. You appeared to me in the <clears throat> You only knew that it, it was me when you saw me now. Otherwise, you didn't know who the person was. Yeah. Right. Um, so she didn't know who the person appearing to her, this old man. I was this, like with a beard, same. You same. actually looked exactly the way you look no. today. Today, 20, 30 years back. Yeah, well, 35 years later. 30 years. Okay. You, um, but you appeared in this, this dream was a, a vivid dream that just got vivider as I had it more often. Um, but I had it when I was 3, 7, 11, 26, 30, and then several times in the last couple of years. And um, in this dream, you, um, it was, there was a mountain, and um, it comes up, and at the top of the mountain was God, and I, when I first had the dream, I was kind of from below. Eventually, I kind of came from the side, like higher up. And um, in this dream, um, God's like wearing all these different hats. So as a child, I just thought it was kind of like that we were all going to the same place. And there was all these different religions kind of on each side of the mountain, going up the mountain to this God who, like, as a three-year-old, was changing hats with the Jewish hat and the Muslim hat. And I grew up Christian, so I didn't really know all of the religions and it kind of evolved to kind of understand um, um you were at, at the top of the mountain or near the mountain or near the top near god and at first i thought you were god and, and your wavy white hair like looked like clouds to me just like they look today yeah so i haven't aged since then i look like that always <laughs> in my world yes <laughs> you look like that always yeah, but some of the people saw me, they said, you haven't aged since the last 30 years. <laughs> they told me that. Oh, well, yeah. When I came to America about 30 years back. Huh. No, 1986, 85, 86. It was today, was the... Then 84. 32 years. Yeah. So, so what is the... From 86 or 85, how many 32 years? 35 years? 32. 32? 33 years. So I've been in America for 33 years. Okay, so then you, so then I was there standing you were, the you were there at the top of the mountain, and you're always there at the top of the mountain. And you, um, you at some point in the dream, make eye contact with me, and you have your arms out like this, and you're wrapped in a white robe like you were yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of threw the mountain. I guess, well, at one point I thought you were God. And then at another point, I thought you were Moses. And then at some point, I've just decided that you were a Lord. A Lord? A Lord. Like a, a Lord. A okay, king. A warlord. A warlord. Or a Lord. A Lord. King, like a king. Yeah, like a, a, you know, very, very close to God. Lord. Okay, okay. Does that make sense? Like, like the archangels are or the cherubs are, higher. the archangels are. Higher than that. Elohim. You know what she's saying? Yes. Yeah. I said like the archangels are. If you see the accuracy, she says higher than that. Yeah. yeah. So it's the I Elohim. I said shiver down my spine. Yeah. This person, Guru Nath, whoever this Guru Nath has taken this body, he shouldn't just uh, explode me. <laughs> That's what I'm... I'm because this this is somebody I I said this and I told him I hushed it up because I as a normal human being in my lower mind my true self is what it is so it has reached that source okay then so on this mountain um, as I've had this dream are you listening to this you should be listening to this because this is going cutting to the very core 
yeah. and the deaf don't to do the phone. If you listen to this, it will give some insights that how such a person can have this thing because only the person at Kaal Hasti told me this, yeah. who are the master of masters with intuition and all. And this person was a little girl of three. She has this which is very astounding. It's very astounding. I don't think anybody has. They have. People have. But this seems to be go, go to the very past world cycles. So, so you're carrying on. I won't interrupt you. As the dream got more vivid, I realized that there was a, a path going up the mountain. And it was like the easier route, but it took a lot longer. Mm-hmm. And it would go all the way up to the same place. But then, with those different religions coming each direction, um, there was a harder path, but it was faster, mm-hmm. and it was full of jagged rocks and ravines and all kind of hardships. But there was um, at each level there was different beings that that were helping people up who wanted, yes. to, who wanted to climb. So there were like ropes yes. and like climbing up these mountains, and and I realized in the last two years that. The, these levels were um, levels of being like I'm not really sure the right terms for it, but like a um, prophets and then like higher yes. beings and then like yes. Lord yes. Jesus and Buddha and, and so the, angels. Yes, and yes. So the the levels are like that. The first level is you have the the people on earth who are interested in the subject, and they are known as the Dwij. <coughs> and the second like. Uh, second level, they are the Kotichaks, the people who actually, uh, you know, come and get initiated. The, they are known as the Dwij, the twice born, in which the second category you fall, and going to the Hamsa, which is the third category. So you are in the Hamsa category, which is the third, which is very rare. And then is the fourth category is the Paramansa, with some of our Kriyacharyas as senior people will very soon be in that state. But I dare not tell them, because even at the state of Paramansa, the ego can rise. But I know there are Paramansas and amongst us. And then after the Paramansas, which are the, the great swans, here is the state of many of the great social leaders and world leaders. Then come the Siddhas, the perfected beings, the great perfected beings, which Janus faced, taking the currents from the boas, giving it. Then after the Siddhas, there are the, the Avdhutas, were completely liberated. And Aung Shautas were also prophets. Like you have all the prophets. And then come, after the Avtutas, come the, the path of the liberated angels and the Avtar. And after the liberated angels come the eight degree, the highest archangels, uh, who are known as the thrones. So the highest archangels are the eighth degree of initiation. And where the Buddha stands along with the Krishna and the Christ, the 8th degree initiation. And then the ninth degree <coughs> initiation is he about whom not may be said is Babaji, the Supreme, who is the veritable God made flesh. And there is no flesh, there is only God and God. And that is the king, Shiv Kodaksha Babaji. But this is his lowest phase, it is his lowest stage at which he can descend. So that is the ninth degree of initiation. He is called the nameless one. And he is the non-being essentiality, the other channel. Nine, and the tenth is deity itself, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yes. Then. Um. Well, in the dream. Can't you have given a mic so you all can hear? It's a testimonial. It's a great test. You should. It should strike you, man. These things. Is the mic is there? Um, there's not a ton more to the dream. Um, okay, so forget. But in the dream, you know, there's, everyone's struggling to get up, um, and you and and you and I were um, among slash above the level of life. Like, where Christ and Buddha sat. You sat next to God. But you sat so close that you weren't at the Oozing out. Yes. Oozing out from the essence of God. One of the children oozing out from the essence of God people sent to serve humanity. Yeah. 
And um, but every dream you always made eye contact with me and opened your arms as to bring me in. And um, I realized that uh, I think you've probably been working on me all of those years. Because, oh, absolutely. Um, those those years were very hard years. Um, I was burning a lot of earth karma early. So you attributed to divine grace, and you, you feel that I was the person appearing from the age of three, and you found yourself guru now. Do the technique, and God bless you, and lead a successful life. Okay. God bless you. Take care. Mm -hmm.